Hello everyone, I'm Akif and this is our another lecture about uh, logic and uh, here we will be discussing the difference between propositional logic and first order logic. So far we discussed about first order logic and we also uh, did some examples related to inference and how the first order logic is represented. Now we will uh, have a discussion about propositional logic and finally we will uh, just uh, see what's the difference between propositional logic and first order logic. Now as far as the knowledge representation is concerned we do represent knowledge uh, in a number of forms which we will uh, discuss later. We will have an entire video related to that. Uh, but this kind of uh, knowledge representation which is uh, uh, called as the logical representation in that category we have this uh, this is called as logical representation so logical representation is one of the knowledge representations in in this uh, category we have these two types of uh, uh, logics which is propositional logic and first order logic now uh, we did uh, discuss in the uh, first order logic that it has got uh, these operators that's not and or implication and equivalence. Um, but apart from this, we also discussed about some quantifiers, uh, which was uh, that of universal quantifier and existential quantifier. But in this case, we do not have uh, any quantifier. Um, and I'm talking about the propositional logic. For example, it is a it is cold is represented with uh, a single literal a. It's snowing is represented with b. Uh, it's winter, for example, is represented with c. So each sentence, uh, and if the sentence has got both the subject and predicate, it's represented with a single sentence. For example, using these four uh, given sentences. Uh, suppose if we have to represent this if it's snowing then it's cold if it's snowing here in this case is uh, B and then it's cold means there's implication it's cold uh, is A so B implies A so this is here this is how uh, the things are represented in the pr propositional logic now if I have to represent this thing if it's cold and snowing then it's uh, not sunny. So we will have a uh, conjunction. We will have a conjunction. If it's cold, A, and it's snowing, is B, then it's sunny implies, uh, then it's not sunny, sorry. So it means there has to be a not and D. This is what I have shown here in this slide. Now let's take into consideration these examples and we saw that uh, in the propositional logic we only have operators. There are no uh, quantifiers like existential or uh, universal quantifier. So let's take uh, into consideration this example. Dog chases a cat or bird but not at the same time. So in this case I am representing dog chases a cat with C. Okay dog chases a cat or bird so there has to be or and b means dog uh, chases a bird then but not at the same time when we're talking about dog chasing a cat uh, and dog chasing a bird at the same time it means it has to be a, a conjunction but here not occurs between this which means that I have to put a not operator and there has to be a conjunction of these things so this is how the uh, dog chases a cat or bird but not at the same time is represented in propositional logic um, representation now there is another example Jonathan is a math teacher but not a computer teacher so in this case M represents Jonathan uh, is a math teacher uh, but not a computer teacher so C represents a computer teacher so here we have a not therefore not C and there has to be a um, 
and operator in between. Now, Jonathan is healthy or wealthy, but not wise. So when we hear statements like uh, but and since, uh, then uh, remember that uh, we will be using a, a conjunction. So this is what we did in this example. And this is what we are doing here. So M represents over here, Jonathan is a math teacher and C represents uh, Jonathan is a computer teacher and but or person between therefore there has to be a conjunction now Jonathan is healthy or wealthy but not wise I represent Jonathan is healthy by H I represent Jonathan is wealthy by W uh, wise I represent by X so here we have Jonathan is healthy or wealthy healthy or wealthy I put it inside the parenthesis then this but not wise if Mark brought a car today then he either sold his old one or took a loan so I represent uh, Mark brought a car today by C uh, he sold it by S he sold his old one by S and uh, took a loan by L. So if Mark brought a car today, then, so it means there has to be implication. We have When we have if and then, it means there has to be implication. So there's implication after this thing. If Mar Mark brought a car today, which is C, then he either sold his old one or took a loan. So there yeah, is this sold his old one represented by s or took a loan by l so let's move forward now so that is uh, what we discussed about propositional logic and earlier we discussed about predicate logic now there are some things which uh, might be already in your mind uh, and something which you would have already reached the uh, some conclusion you, you, you would have yourself draw uh, drawn some conclusions um, these conclusions are that propositional logic uh, is something where I even if we have a subject and predicate in a sentence it's represented with as any kind of literal there is a single rep a literal that represents an entire sentence for example Socrates uh, is a man is represented with a single s s sentence even if we have subject and predicate both over here but it's represented with a single literal but that's not the case when it comes to predicate logic we have a different kind of uh, representation if I have to represent Socrates is a man I represent it like this Socrates inside the parenthesis which means it's a subject is a man predicate outside this now this is one uh, difference second is that mm, propositional logic doesn't work for statements like all uh, everyone which means that when we are dealing with um, generalization for example in the case of all uh, everyone one or some uh, proportional logic uh, doesn't work in such cases uh, so therefore it means that proportional logic has no uh, quantifier since we are not talking about things like everyone or some we won't have quantifiers like for all or for some now predicate logic is therefore the advanced version of proportional logic now that was all for today uh, thanks and have a nice day